Hello guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone. Oh, Johnny Boy. Guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Head the Tone on Tom Hanks Guitars and Basses. If you're new around here, welcome. What I do is take famous bits of songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. And the cool thing is you get to choose what song I'm covering next. Just put it down in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as I can. While you're down there, if you can consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, that would be phenomenal. Thank you so very much in advance. And with that said, let's start with today's song, which is I'm Gonna Find Another You by John Mayer. First off, I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas and that New Year prospects are looking good. I was looking for something that was a bit of an in-between, not another Christmas song, but not, not like another death episode, basically. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking for John Mayer over and over and over again. This is the fourth one, I think, at this point. So let's get into it, starting with the guitar for the day, which is that beautiful Gretsch, the broadcaster. is a phenomenal Japanese-made custom shop grade Guitar, it just, it, oh, look at it, just look at it, oh my god. I love it, I really do. Yeah, I think this is going to work just fine because John Mayer famously plays that song on a Gibson 335 guitar, more precisely the Eric Clapton custom shop version, if I'm not mistaken, which I might be, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, we're looking at a semi-hollow guitar with humbuckers with relatively low output. So that will work just fine, and that is our basic sound. Almost makes me reconsider the Strat. No, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Not really. But yeah, great sound in itself. We're gonna add a few things to it in our amp and pedal setup. Okay, so as usual with any John Mayer episode, any, you know, Jimi Hendrix or Stevie Ray Vaughan, it's always the same dilemma, right? We're working with a small combo, which is, as usual, the Fender Hot Rod Tweed Edition. The controls will be on your screen. And we're trying to make that sound as a three amp stack, like massive, clean, big headroom amplifiers. This amp is no match for them. So the first thing I like to do, as you might know, is add an overdrive or at least a clean boost in front of it to make the tubes work a little bit harder, make the amp sound bigger than it actually is. And today I'll be using the Ultraphonics Overdrive by Vertex FX because it is one of the Dumble sound. It's not the still string singer that John Mayer famously uses, but it is that mid-range close enough at least. And I think that's going to do a fairly good job at just boosting the front of the amp, making the guitar sound a lot bigger, more body, more mid-range. That pedal, as well as the Strymon Flint, for some reverb. I'll be in the 60s mode, everything at noon, so that's a big spring reverb that's very generous. And turning all of that on will take us there. Whatever pedal boost overdrive you're using there is not to add gain by any means, but just to push the amp on the edge of breakup so that if you're picking softly, you're still gonna have a clean tone, even with humbuckers. But as soon as you start digging in, as you do on that part there that we'll go through in a second, it does break up and that's, that's the sweet spot. That's the sound that you're looking for. I'm really happy with this one, so I'm gonna stick to it and we're gonna jump on the last section of that video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the song. All 
All right, this is, as I said in the beginning, very different from the other John Mayer songs that we've covered so far. It's not a lead part, it's not... Uh, it is blues, it's a jazzy form of blues, but it is, is very different. So it is a really, really nice chord progression, very BB King inspired, but with a few twists here and there. If you were here last week for the Christmas episode and Bing Crosby, I'll be home for Christmas, it, it's kind of the same vibe really. It's a lot of diminished and seventh chords, just a beautiful progression. So let's get started with our fritting hand. There's a little bit of jazzy influence on that big classic blues thing going on. So that results in some shapes that are a bit less common than others. And if you starting with guitar, something like this might not be as familiar to you as just a major you know, bar chord. So work on them individually to make sure that you can get your fingers to snap on the chords in the right position before starting to work on transitioning from one chord to the next. It's a fairly slow tempo, so you don't have to rush in between them, but it has so much feel to it that you really want to be comfortable here to allow yourself to sort of drift off and not think about the chord so much, but mostly think about your own tempo, your own right hand and the intensity of it all, because that's what makes that riff so great. With that said, let's have a look at the picking side of it. So as you see, it's single string picking. There's not, nothing too complicated on this side. Again, you want to work on the fretting first to make sure that you're so comfortable with these calls and these changes that you don't have to think about them so that you can be more creative on the picking side of it. And not in terms of speed or anything, but mostly in terms of, of intention, of intensity in your picking. Because you want to use the dynamics that you have at range, you know, pick very softly to keep the chords clean and lush and everything. And then dig in a little bit harder on some of the, um, you know, hammer on pull offs that you've got there to make the arm break up. And that's all happening with your picking hand. So once you're comfortable over there, you can sort of make it your own by just changing the way you're gonna phrase the, the chords. But with that said, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on I'm Gonna Find Another You by John Mayer. As per usual, I hope you had fun. I hope maybe you learned something in this video and if so, please consider liking it, subscribing to the channel. Again, I wish you all a fantastic holiday. I hope your Christmas was great. I hope New Year's is looking good. Have a safe time, have a grand time, uh, keep playing music and I will see you next year in a new episode of Hit the Tone.